hybrid time. This is the guy that's uh, doing the damage. Uh, let's see, fishing at Uluga Dam. For those of you guys that uh, don't know, uh, we consider this our home base. Uh, we fish this place a lot. Fishing maybe, I would say on average, uh, twice a week between me, my my, my brother here, and our. Uh, our group or team uh, this is our home turf we fish it a lot we fish it all the way up from the dam all the way back down to the private properties and that's when we get on our kayaks and uh, we go down even farther uh, but basically what we're trying to do today is cast up into this hole over here around this bend and uh, slowly uh, retrieve it back that's the name of the game and uh, we'll take a closer look at this guy's setup in a bit. What you using? He's a Palmer knot. Yeah. A Palmer line. It's probably about 35 degrees out here right now. Nobody else out here except for me and Hybrid Killer. This is a Connery camera guy today. For a little bit and then i'll try to go down there and get my share of the fun we're fishing on a 10 foot daiwa emblem surf rod and we're also using the daiwa cast z fishing reel it's a carp reel for those that want to know since it, but since it's got a longer neck on it, it'll allow you to cast a little farther. We're casting with the wind today. Wind's coming from the back. There you go. That's the cast you want. You want to be as close to the wall as you can. That's the trick of uh, fishing Eluga Dam. Uh, just so you guys know how much lures we pack in our packs, that's why we carry so much. This is what we have. This is just specifically for, uh, say, stripers and hybrids. You've got your favorite flukes in so many different colors. That color, the green color, all different sizes. Yeah, the big colors. You got even a brown color. Yeah, let's see. Another white color, but just in a smaller size. Like that. And of course, you got even more stuff in here that we'll discuss later. And then you also got a lot of your weird swimming lures uh, that we haven't reviewed yet, but we will. A lot of the stuff we have in here we haven't used. For example, that. It's just not the right time to use yet. We also have these. And we have... These are kind of our uh, favorite jig heads as, as of the moment. These are the uh, Strike King Squadron uh, Half Ounce Heads. It's got a really good hook on them. Also got some Lake Fort... Uh, Jigs, two different sizes. Let's see what else we got. We got this too. Lugio color swim baits. And of course, this is just my bag. We still have Hyper Killer's bag. Got some X Wrap technology up in here too. Already reviewed. Check it out. 
Oh, you got a snag? Dang, I thought you had something. KVD Sexy Dog, check it out, reviewed already. One of our best top water lures right now is the KVD Sexy Dog for your average to medium sized hybrid strappers. And of course, we're always packing KVD Ultra Point hooks, big fan of those hooks. They do not bend on the on big strappers. Of course, we always got the green string for making a last minute. Uh, Fish stringer. Got the Wind Rider slash Castmaster uh, Jig. Um, Castmaster Jig stuff. Oh, there it is. Squadron Heads. And then for the uh, tail. You want to try the green color? Yeah. Green color. Yeah. See, we just switched out lowers. If they're not hitting, change the color, change the size. Especially if you know if they've hit once, you know they're there. So, change colors, change sizes. And uh, it's almost like they're very picky. So, they'll bite once or twice, and that's it. So. If you change colors, it'll give you the chance to get another hit. A lot more goodies in this bag for crappie and sand bass. We'll cover that later in a review video. Teach you guys how to properly set things up. For uh, all you rookies out there that do not know what you're doing, watch our video. We'll teach you what's in this magic bag. Of course, that's just this magic bag. We still haven't even gotten to that magic bag yet. All right. It <laughs> don't look good. <laughs> uh. 
that's a pretty strong line, dude. <laughs> No, nope, that's Hybrid Killer giving you guys a lesson on how to uh, try to ah. break free a snag. <laughs> so you gotta do. Everybody's in the nice, warm, comfy weather, sitting on their couch, and we're still out here fishing. That's Captain Hook. He's coming by. Oh, he went to the bait shop. <laughs> yeah, you gotta give it at least a little bit of effort before you uh, wrap it around your hand. That's the other thing about it. You gotta wrap it around your hands and just back up. That way you don't put any stress on your reel or any stress on your uh, fishing pole. You don't break anything. We say that because we've learned from experience. We've actually broke fishing reels and we've actually broken fishing poles when you're just pulling them uh, like you're pulling in a big fish. You don't want to do that. Pull the line. Uh, into your hands wrap it four or five times not around your bare skin but if you have a long sleeve shirt four or five times around your sleeves and just pull it straight back make sure the line feeds through your guides perfectly uh, rod is to be pointed straight toward, towards the snag and just pull it straight back until it breaks because you the worst thing about a snag is if you break your fishing pole with it so we ran power pro the super slick and the regular power pro on this re, uh, fishing reel and then there was all these tangling up then we switched over to the, uh, the Daiwa samurai braid cost twice as much but this reel loves it we haven't had any uh, snags on it yet so we're probably going to be doing a review on the uh, the Daiwa versus the power pro super slick 8 or super 8 slick and the regular power pro but so far, some reels like this better than others. And I think that's one of those things you have to do your own little research on. Oh, you got some other ones? Some storms? Try out the storms as well. I'm out of the white ones, but... Yeah, the, is that the green? Green pack? This is the regular shag color. Oh, shag color. You've caught before, right? The double setup coming right up in this 35 degree weather. Ooh, that looks like a good throw. Looks like a mighty throw. Ooh! That was it, yo. That was a fish. But I think it's snagged. Oh. Wait, it bit and then it probably went and it got snagged somewhere? Yeah. Dang. You got it back. Oh, oh, we got us. We got Laura's back. Not a bad deal. Just check your uh, check your stuff. Make sure it's all still good. <laughs> Man says that was a hit. That's our fourth hit today. It is double swim rig. That didn't work. <laughs> hey, you gotta keep on trying things until they work. There's Captain Hook up here. Another team member. There he is. In his Evo 5. Mirage Evo 5. Oh, we just call it Evo 5.
I don't think he wants to come out. It's so cold. W A S Captain Hook, where you at? Dude, no, no, like, I wish it was like one ounce, but it's slow sinks, you know. Oh, you can make a one ounce slow sink. Yeah, that'd be nice. Throw it far, but slink sinks low. Mm. All right, you hear that, all you bait manufacturing people? You guys need to make something that's an ounce. The slow sinks. <laughs> to half an ounce. Yeah, half ounce to an ounce. Slow sinking jig head. Okay, so we can cast far but slower sink. Cause as of right now, everything just goes as fast as a rock down to the bottom. We need to have more uh, time on the water column. If you develop something like that, let us know. We'll uh, we'll definitely uh, give you guys a shout out on our channel. Cause that's what we need longer casting stuff that stays in the water column that's why uh the shimano waxwing caught our attention and we're willing to pay that price too just to let people know because if you get snagged four or five times that's uh that's to, that's a 20 dollar lure right there so we'd rather just get a lure that works from the beginning if you need us to test something for you send it our way as well we can do a lot of the testing behind the scenes uh, private messages for uh, information if you'd like us to test something for you. But we do have a lot of experience with lures. We've made our own lures. We've uh, been fishing for the last 15 years, all types of species. Uh, mainly freshwater, located in Tulsa, Oklahoma. But we did move here from the uh, Worcester area, Worcester, Massachusetts area. And we fished all over the states as well. California, Massachusetts, uh, Minnesota, one trip up in Minnesota, and then majority of our big fish are uh, Massachusetts and uh, Oklahoma. The big fish we go after are striped bass, hybrids and today, it's big fish, hybrid striped bass, for those that don't know. We refer to them as just hybrids. Oh, we just hit the wall. That's not good. Another good thing about this reel is it retrieves really, really fast. Lightweight handle. Did you mess up the jig head? People want to see that there's proof in there. There's proof right there. It's a, let me try to zoom in a little bit. It's a scale. That's a hybrid scale. They just not biting, they're down there. Not throwing the right stuff, the man says. Fishing is boring until. <laughs> Check out this new guy. Oh, pulls out the secret weapon. <laughs> I do <think we> got you. <laughs> that shit is banned in 14 states. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not. <laughs> What you gonna address it with? I don't know. Just if we just put a green tail in there. Probably could do that too. It's as simple as that. Put a fluke on a jig head. And just punch it right through the back. So it sits like that. Jig head is a jig head. You can use any jig head you want. Okay guys, we test everything and anything. So this is one of our paper, uh, very famous lower setups that a lot of people have been uh, using the last couple of years. It's the Alabama rig. And we also fish that too. And so far, Alabama rig, nothing. On top of that, oh, and on top of that, I don't know if you can see. Oh, there you can. This is a really well constructed lure in terms of the internals or at least in terms of the fish anchoring systems uh, hook anchoring systems because you have a 
a wire.